Welcome to this LT Power CAD video. I'm your host Mats Hellberg. In this video, I will show you the loss estimate and breakdown function inside LT Power CAD. After finish up the power stage design inside LT Power CAD, you will find the loss estimate and breakdown tab in the very next to the power stage design tab. The loss estimate and breakdown page allow the user to verify the system efficiency and overall loss as a function of the input voltage and output load. Estimate the power loss of components versus output current and input voltage. Compare the efficiency and power loss of a circuit using different external components or operating under different conditions. Pick active or passive components from the library. For circuits with multiple rails, the loss is, is estimated per rail. To select the rail, simply activate the corresponding tab on the left side of the windows. The inductors and vets can be changed from the components library in the loss estimation tab. In the upper side, we, have, we can select new MOSFETs, and the lower side here, we can select inductors. To select another component in the loss estimator or break and down window, Press the select for the components that you want to change. The library pops up window that allows the user to select components from a list of built-in parts. There is also a possibility to add user parts inside the library. After change in the loss estimation tab, the calculated values are not automatically updated. To make sure the changes are propagated to the waveform, the updated plot must be pressed. The inductor losses include DCR loss that is taken from the library of the inductor. Core losses, inductor losses are created by the voltage microsecond product. The value entry is typically determined by the lab measurement that is not included from the library. MOSFET power losses includes both conducted and switch losses. Calculating at maximum output current and at the input voltage value selected with input voltage slider. The thermal resistant values is not a part of the FET model and must be manually entered if temperature estimation is desired. The total power loss section shows the estimated loss along with the efficiency for the rail at maximum output load current and selected input voltage. The input voltage slider the various power losses shown in the loss estimation and breakdown tab are usually expressed for a given output current and a certain input voltage defined by the V-in slider. The graph used to display the rail efficiency along with its power loss as a function of the output current. The blue is the efficiency and the red is the power loss. You got the y axis on the left side that shows the efficiency in percentage, and the y axis on the right side showing the power losses. Double click the graph to select and set the axis preference. For more information or download a free copy of LD PowerCAD, please visit us at linear.com/slash. LT PowerCAD. Thank you for watching.